Well, I screwed up the intro. Anyways, Merry Christmas. Today is uh, the last trading day uh, before the holiday. Uh, so markets close tomorrow. And uh, we're going to see what we can find today. Yesterday was a mixed. Uh, I ended up catching some afternoon uh, or late morning momentum and making some money on uh, a couple of trades. But finished green, but it, it was it was a bit choppy yesterday. So it's been a little bit of a slow week. Uh, Gap scanner this morning, TEDU is a reverse split. So that one's not that interesting. KTTA uh, is lower price, not super interested right now. ENSC is uh, possible, but it's below the 200 and had a double top up at this level around 627, 650. And then we'll get further into the scan. So before I break down uh, the scan and get into it with more detail, for those tuning in on YouTube, good morning. Thank you for tuning in. I hope you enjoy this broadcast. Hit the thumbs up if you do. I hope you're subscribed to the channel. Uh, as always, I want to remind you that this broadcast is for educational purposes only. And I want to remind you that my results are not typical. So trading is risky. Most beginner traders lose money. And so you shouldn't trade with money you can't afford to lose. And you should assume as a beginner that you will lose. All right. Now, uh, with that assumption in mind, doing yourself a favor, trade in a simulator before you put real money on the line. All right. So uh, thank you guys again for tuning in. Uh, students, we're going to do some more um, uh, raffle uh, giveaways here today. I've got a bunch of uh, sweatshirts. So we've got some other things that we're going to be giving away. So we'll have a fun day uh, today, regardless of uh, what the market gives us. But hopefully we do see some opportunities. Of course, as a reminder, it only takes one. It only takes one decent trade. So sometimes it's just having the patience to wait for that one to set up. And it's possible that we won't see the one today, which means a no trade day would be perfectly acceptable. So all right, back to the top of the scan. So TEDU, a reverse split. I'm not very interested in it right now. The price is still a little low. KTTA, 20 million share float. Price is also a little low. Uh, going down. ENSC, this one, pre-market high is 650. You guys had a nice move on this yesterday from 350 all the way up to six. Then it pulled back down to 450. Then pre-market this morning, ripping back up there at like 4 or 5 a.m., those early morning traders, dropped back down, ripped back up here. And this was around 7 a.m. And now we're in another pullback. So it does feel like, you know, it's already had a couple of pullbacks. Um, feels like I've kind of missed the move. Volume is declining a little bit here versus where it was in this ramp up. So right now, I'm, I'm just not sure if this one is going to give more opportunities. Looking out at the daily chart, uh, pulling it back a little bit. I mean, you can definitely see that it's a fairly light volume stock historically. If it can get above, I mean, really, if it's above 12, you're basically at all time highs because this price action I could generally consider to be irrelevant. This is the price action of like a shell company. Uh, it's usually like this. You could just tell the way these candles are that these were like 1800 shares of volume, 400 shares of volume. So it really didn't start having volume until August, uh, which was this day right here. So anything above this high here of 724 is basically a blue sky. Um, SOPA, I do still have on watch. This one, um, so the thing, I'm gonna take a starter on SOPA there. So the thing on this uh, break of VWAP, I'm gonna add over 17. The thing that I've been thinking on SOPA is that if we can break through this level right here, 1755, we've got a pretty good opportunity at retesting yesterday's high. So let's watch SOPA for an ad over 17 and then 1725. So you've got some volume coming in right now. It's only up 2%. This is a continuation stock and this is the one that I made uh, 30,000 on yesterday during this squeeze from 14 up to 18. So what I went for there was the break of VWAP. 
I'm going to let it consolidate. The high is 90 and put a new order at 1725. What I'm thinking, and good job for those that bought uh, the bottoming tail there. That bottoming tail, that was would have been a nice entry for sure. I am looking for the breakthrough 17 and then 1725, 1750. So let's see if I can, the levels that I would add would be around volume weight average price. And then over 17. 1725 watching here for the ad I'm thinking 95 96 97 added there at 99 all right good taking a little profit new order is 1710 watch 1710 17 I'm gonna put it at 1715 Seems like there's some sellers on this. It needs to break through this level. 1755 is our pivot. So I'm gonna trade it uh, with smaller size until we get up to that level. 5,000, 10,000 shares. Sizing up to 25 or 30,000 shares would be only if it's squeezing uh, through yesterday's high. So we got the break of 17. We've got four green candles in a row. I'm gonna watch for ads off of uh, 1663 so I have a smaller position and then 1703 1710 so 1703 is the high back there I'm proud of you guys that got good entries on this down in the um, around 16 16 30s you have that perfect bottoming tail right there. So watching for my ads. Yeah, if we can break 1750, then we have a good shot at 18. So we need to see a rip through 17. Added back there for the break of 1703. There's 179. Next, add 1715 as we ascend higher up to 1725. Added there for the break of 15. Now, next, add 1725 as we pull away. Looking for a squeeze up to 1750. So I'm going to buy over 1725 right there, added. Now looking for 1735 and 45 for the next add as it starts to pull away. So I'm going to add 1735. Holding 6,000 shares right now. Watching the break of 29. Added there. The seller at 29 is coming down, you can see. Looking for 35 next. So I want to see a test of 1755, watching for dips off 17. Bought the dip at 1712. Uh, 
So we're going to watch this uh, back over 1725, 1735. KTTA, like I said, it's a little too cheap for me right now. I'm focusing on SOPA. Price is a little higher, but I sort of like these better. Watching for an ad off of 17 support, psychological support. Nice, good job, good work for those that got green already. So first one minute, can't. you've got two good things, volume increasing. This is a pullback, 1720 is the next spot to watch. There's 18. So looking for first one minute candle to make a new high here. And then see if we pop back through 1725. High of this candle is 1720. Ten thousand share bid. That gives me uh, confidence to add there. So added uh, as soon as I saw that bid. And now looking for 1725, 1730. Uh, back to flat for now. Seems a little like volume is pulling back, so I'm going to look for a better dip entry. Watching. We'll see if it holds 17. The previous level right there was 1703. I'll do a dip at 1708. I'm not expecting a lot of news at 9 a.m. I think 9 a.m. is probably going to be a little slow on the news side just because it's Friday or well, it's Thursday, but markets close tomorrow going into a long weekend. So I'm expecting continuation to be stronger today and ENSC and SOPA are the two that I'm watching. So flat right now. Yeah, market's closed tomorrow uh, in observance of uh, Christmas. VWAP is 1681. Zoom in on this a little bit. Look at that. Right back up. Son of a gun. See, these ones are funny when you get stopped out and then it's right back up. I'm going to wait a second on it, let it form a five minute setup. Right back to 23. No, that's good though. I mean, it's a bummer I got stopped out, but it's good that it's got that strength. The high is 30. So bought there, small size. Next ad would be 45 and 50. This five minutes starting to open up, or the one minute starting to open up a little bit. Watching for an ad at 40. I wanna see if we get the test of the half dollar. Added at 38 there for the break of 40. Now with this one, if we can break through, adding right there 45, 
Then 55, 60, I'm gonna start sizing up for the move right to 18. Look at that high volume on this candle. That high volume is what we're looking for. So now watch 48, adding there 50. Next add 65 and 75. Let's look for the squeeze right to 18. Adding there 65, adding at 70. Now can we get the squeeze to 18? Holding 14,000 shares. Next add for me is going to be at 77. Watching this area. Better adjust my five minute. So we hit a high of 77. I added my highest add was 73. Average is 43. Dip add there at 54, bought the dip. Looking for the break through 65 and 70. Nice green candle on the five. There's 66. Watch the break over 60. Nice work, good job, Cigar, good work. All right, so flat right now, I'm gonna look for the next dip entry. We came, uh, man, I just wish that I hadn't stopped out. I stopped out and then got back in a little high. I just wish that I'd held through that whole pullback. I should've, I should've, because 1703 was the previous support. It dipped it for a second and then got right back above it. So I, I stopped out and then had to get back in too high. When you get back in too high, you know, you're just not gonna make as much on that move. So what are our next levels? 1825 and then 1860. It's only up 6%, but it's holding, most importantly, yesterday's big gain. MOBQ, let me look. I'm not super familiar with this one. Volume is pretty light. It's up 33%. Float, 5.45 million shares. News, expanding a SaaS platform. These ones you just have to be a little careful on when they're light on volume. You know, you can get big moves, but then they can reverse. Yeah, no, you're right. I mean, if it had broken 16, uh, 1693, 1680, then next thing you know, it's down at 1675, and then I would have given back the gain of that first trade. So it's just a little conservative to sell and then get, have to get back in. Yeah, the selling volume was light. It was. Mm -hmm. High this candle there, 55, and there's back to 60. The thing here is that um, I'll add at 60 and add again at 70. I think we might get a little bit of a squeeze. I'm not sure if we're gonna get all the way to 18 on this first kind of push, but this is light volume pullback. So let's see if we get the break through uh, 70. Watching off of 50 support to add. Then for the break through 65. So next add 67 as we start to ascend up towards the high there. We've got less than a minute on this candle. So this candle could close green. The open is 64, the high of this candle 62. So I'm gonna put my order at 70. And I'm gonna watch it because if it closes green, that is pretty bullish. It dipped and then it curled right back up again. 
then we're looking at 77 and up towards 18. Added at 42 to buy the dip. Now looking for the breakthrough uh, 1760. So that five minute candle closed. We're in a one minute ABCD pattern. There's 65. I'm gonna watch 67 for an ad. So looking for 1765, 1767. Even though this is a red candle, we had one yesterday. If we look back over here, we had this uh, red red doji and then it continued higher. So, and that was when we started to get the really big move. Um, and it's partly because it didn't really make sense. You figure out it's a red doji, it's gonna pull back and then it started to rip. So it squeezed out short sellers through that level. So 1777 is the spot to watch. I'm gonna put my order at 1790 so it's ready to go. We're only 20 cents off that level right now. Added at 51 to buy the dip. Looking for 65 and 75. Uh, the ABCD on the one minute, high, low, the high, and now the low. So we're looking for the breakthrough 65. 65 is the pivot on the ABCD on the one minute. Holding 3,400 shares. Average is 53. So going flat, it's not holding above the half dollar. I'll let it do the five minute pullback and then try again. Lost about $400 on that trade, maybe 500. VWAP is 1709. I can put an order at 1710 to buy the dip. All right, Danny, we'll see you on Monday. Have a great holiday. Yeah, I agree. So a reminder for those on YouTube, I hope you guys are enjoying the morning show. If you do enjoy it, hit the thumbs up. We really appreciate it. I want to tell you, as always, my results are not typical. Trading is risky. It's not suitable for a beginner trader to put real money on the line since most beginner traders do lose money. So take it very slow. Uh, if you would like to learn a bit more about my strategy, we'd love to have you join us. You can check out the sales that we have going on right now for uh, Warrior Pro one year. Uh, one year for the Warrior Pro is 40% off and you'll get a 14 day money back guarantee so you can trade with me for the next 14 days and see whether or not you like it, whether or not it's a good fit. This will give you uh, a year of access to the chat room, a year of access to the scanners, which is where I find uh, pretty much all of the trades that I take, a year of access to the classes including the starter and the pro course. 
uh, a year of access to daily mentor sessions. And uh, you'll also get 90 days of access to a trading simulator so you can practice trading in a simulator before you put real money on the line, which is always a good idea. We've got about 20 minutes to the bell right now. Uh, it's about 3,500 to join for one year. And uh, one of the things that I would remind you is that uh, what's nice about our platform is that we integrate, uh, in, uh, uh, integrate a number of different services. So we have breaking news, we have scanners, and so you don't have to go sign up for those separately. So if you sign up for scanners separately, you might pay 70 to $100 a month. Same with news, depending on what you use, if you want to use a premium service. And it is important uh, to have breaking news. Timely news is key. Hey, good morning, Justin. Uh, yes, we are going to do some raffles today, and uh, we can go ahead and uh, do one here. Let's see. All right. So let's see. Give it a spin. So I've got uh, 397 uh, students. So this one is going to be for 271. So let me go check 271. So student 271 is Alan. Last name begins with H-O-W. Alan, if you are here, you have just won the raffle. And that means you're going to get a sweatshirt if you'd like. Alan, are you here? Tell me what size you want and what pattern. We've got the pasta print and we have the cactus print. All right. So if he is not here, we're going to send him an email. And we'll just let him know that we'll uh, that he can uh, choose. So we'll just send him an email. All right. Why don't we do one more while we wait a minute here? So I'm going to remove Alan. Okay, we'll spin again. One thirty six. All right, let's go check one thirty six. Uh, one thirty six is uh, Nadia. Last name begins with K O R I. Nadia. If you are here, you can choose size and pattern. We do still have some uh, puppy dog prints for our puppy dog pals. So we'll give her a chance to say what size and color uh, print she wants. Three fifty-seven. All right. So looks like Nadia is not here right now. So we'll email her as well. Three fifty-seven down to the bottom of the list. All right. So three fifty-seven. Darren. Uh, last name begins with V E N D. Darren. Are you here? 
So a little uh, Christmas gift from uh, me to you. I will uh, be doing the labels and stuff over the weekend. I would expect these early uh, next year. So you're here. Okay, that sounds very interesting. Uh, well, then which uh, pattern do you want? We'll send you an email just to confirm, Roman, but uh, that's that's fine. So Roman says he's Darren's boyfriend, and he's uh, he's logged in today. So that's just perfect. Doggy print size medium. All right, let's see. Large, we've got large here. Uh, all right. It's Nadia's boyfriend. See, you make these assumptions. Wow. I've really got to get my get my get my act together. Of course. All right, size medium doggy print. There we go. Sopa, hold hold on, hold on. Let me look back at Sopa. All right, so we're going to take uh There we go. So, Anna, did you get that for Nadia? So this is the beginning of a five minute uh, breakout, five minute pullback to the VWAP, coming back up. So this is good. Um, it pulled back a little, see, so here's the thing. If this had been a one minute ABCD pattern, we'd have perfect multi time frame alignment. We'd have the one minute ABCD pattern going into a five minute bull flag breakout. This one minute broke down right here. And so when it broke down there, it makes me more inclined to look for an ABCD pattern on the five minute. Okay. We've got about 13 minutes to the bell. So you can see how it made a new high uh, by five cents, but not a lot of follow through because you don't have multi time frame alignment. The one minute's just not, um, not quite as strong all right uh nadia roman congratulations roman says he never wins anything well we're turning that around here today and maybe 2023 will be your year 2022 well I mean, let's just 2023 i don't want to you know make any guarantees so just go to 2023 2022 is going to be a continuation of the same probably not going to win much but 2023 is going to be your year I was looking at the date because today's the 23rd. All right, so let's see. So we got Darren, Nadia, and we got one other. Let's see. All right, uh, nothing else has changed on the Momo scanner, so we'll do another spin here. So folks uh, who are entered into the raffle are uh, Warrior Pro students who finished their final exam within the last uh, couple months. Number 321. Uh, uh, let's see, Juan. And your last last name begins with A L V A. Juan, you here today? Hey, Juan. All right. So, do you tell me what you want? You've got your choice. Uh, we're all out of extra large, and in size large. We only have, well, we only have pasta and cactus. Uh, if you want something from our merch store instead, you're welcome to do that. Um, 
These sizes all run a little bit small also. Medium cactus. Okay, let's let's look. Let's see. I have I have large cactus. I don't have medium. No, wait. I do. I do. I take that back. So we got a medium cactus here for one. All right, medium cactus. All right, we're gonna get that sent out to you. Merry Christmas. Happy holidays. Yeah, I mean we'll ship to wherever, um, wherever we uh, wherever we have to. So current time, it's 9.21. So I'm gonna remove this one from our list. So it's 9.21. This was a light volume green candle. It's a light volume red candle. So essentially we're still in consolidation. Yeah, it made a new high, but it's really in consolidation. And the range, well, the low was 17.01 and the high is 17.46. It is Charles, you got me, it is. Yeah, I know some have mentioned ALLK, uh, possible bounce. The daily chart, the 1085 would be your level, but. BFRI was a possible continuation name as well, but has pulled back. ENSC has come down the gap scan a little bit. Yeah, I think it's going to take a couple of days. A lot of times we see these sort of irrationally huge drops. ALK was like an 87% drop. Uh, you know, the dead cat bounce would say we, we should bounce a bit off the low. And, and it already has. I mean, it hit a low of 850 and bounced back up to like 10, 11, or 10. So, I mean, that by itself is already a, a decent bounce. Uh, but SOPA is holding up the best for sure. So I would say, you know, we had that pivot there at 1755. You know, we broke through it, but we didn't hold above it. So that level's still um, still in play. Have you, Justin, have you gotten any trades yet? So for those tuning in, Justin um, is our eighth student uh, who just got his million dollar badge. Now, I want to say that his results are not typical. My results are not typical either. We don't track the typical result of our student, uh, of our students. We don't have access to broker statements. So you shouldn't assume that his result is by any means typical or that you would achieve anything similar. But uh, so right now we've got 2,200 students logged in. Only eight have gotten that badge. So that by itself um, is an indicator of how hard it is. But we're proud of you, bud. And... We absolutely want to congratulate you and give you a pat on the back because that's awesome. Nice. A couple trades on SOPA already. Good for you. And Justin was talking about it yesterday, how much he started with uh, last year. And I don't remember. You, st you're, you uh, joined about exactly one year ago. <clears throat> Forty thousand, man. Start with so Justin says start with forty thousand. It's very good, very, very, very good. So we have a compliance team that reviewed uh, reviews broker statements to give people the badges. So they reviewed his and good job. So what do we have going on here? Is this like a head and shoulders pattern and it's going to drop back down? I don't know. You got a double bottom here. You can watch it around 17. I think at 17, at least it's a good dip entry. And if it drops a stop at 1690, would work. 
see how that bottoming tail pops right back up so you know that's bullish when that happens but we still have a bit of time look at that man look at that so that just tells you people are watching those levels it's definitely still in play I don't really want to buy the very top of the range, at least not with full size, but we'll just keep it on watch. 45 and then 75. Yep, if Justin wants to do an interview, happy to do it. We'll include it in Chapter 17 of the Warrior Pro classes. That's where we have um, interviews with other badge holders. So popped up to resistance, back down towards support. William, yeah, I mean, I don't see why that would be a problem as long as you're day trading. But I don't make the final decision on those. All right, let's do another uh, spin of the raffle. Number 62. All right, number 62, let's see. Okay, so that is uh, Kevin, last name begins with M-O-N-Z. Passed with an 84%, 84% uh, was your grade. That's good, it's a B. Yeah, we're now we're now we are forming an ABCD on the five. Yep. So longer period of consolidation, volumes declined a little bit. ABCD on the on the five. Yep. I see all that. I agree. So if Kevin's here, let us know what you're what you're looking for, size and pattern. Okay, so now we've 40, thank you, Anna. Kevin! Where is Kevin? We're looking for Kevin. <clears throat> you don't need coffee. Nope. Just stay tuned in. We'll wake you up. Two minutes to the bell. All right. So... The SOPA is pulling back again. You see how it's dropping back down to that $17 level? There's 17.05. I did a dip trade at 97. I'm gonna buy the dip. I'm gonna try to do the same thing that we got before, which was a dip and then a pop back up. So now watching over 17.15. It's a big bottoming tail, but that bottoming tail is bullish. So you have some people who bail out and then it pops right back up. And that's how you start to get those big moves. So next add is 1715 and then 1725. My average is 97. So when I see a dip like that, I usually just come right in and just buy it. So looking for the breakthrough 1715 for the ad. And then the top of the ABCD pattern is 1745. There's 12, there's 11, 12. Let's see if we can get 13, 14, 15. There's 15, added at 15. Now looking for 17, 18. Up to 22. Then over 25, the next ad for a move up to 35. And 45. So 
So I don't want to hold into the open. I'm going to flat and then look for the next dip. It didn't bounce the way it did before. The last one bounced all the way back to 1755. So I'm going to put my new order. I'll just watch this up, up at this level. So those on YouTube, we'll stream a little longer today. A little Christmas gift for you guys too. Hit the thumbs up. Let's see how many thumbs up we've got. If we can get 1,500 thumbs up, I'll stream till 10. So how many thumbs up do we have? So nice, see how that dipped and ripped? But it's choppy right now. We've got some chop. Look at that, yikes, woof. That's tough. See, I didn't buy that uh, pop right there, but boy, so it popped up to 1736, then back down to 1636. Nice, good job. Thank you guys for hitting the thumbs up. Appreciate that. So the five minute now has this red candle. We'll see how, it's only 9.31. It's still early. So we'll see how this trades through the rest of the morning. The morning yesterday on it was a little choppy as well. ENSC. This one, it's just below its daily level. So I have to be a little careful. So SOPA's on watch, ENC is on watch, yeah, sorry, ENC, ENSC is on watch. So we gotta be, gotta be quick, gotta be on our toes today, that's for sure. Stay sharp. Uh, remember next week on uh, next Friday, so a week from tomorrow, I'm gonna host uh, Trader Rehab. So any trader out there, both our students, uh, but also those on YouTube, you need to start turning things around. Let's join Trader Rehab. So Warrior Pro students, you all have access to Trader Rehab. It'll be a probably four hour long uh, intensive class next Friday. And then we're gonna have uh, weekly Monday follow-up meetings, Monday morning before the market opens. No, not tomorrow, a week from, or week from Friday. I would've, if it was tomorrow, I would've said tomorrow. It's a week from Friday, week from tomorrow. So a week from tomorrow, which is 1231. So we'll have about a four hour long trader rehab class. We're gonna have our uh, trader psychology team in there with me. My personal trading coach is gonna be in there too. And we're gonna to put together, we're gonna break down the reasons that traders need to go into trader rehab. We're gonna to try to address those issues head on, and then we're gonna develop trading plans around them. NXTD, KTTA, it's gonna be 11 a.m. next Friday. ENSC, look at that drop as well. So this is the pattern we're seeing right now. So it's time to be cautious. Wait for something to show strength. Not time to get overly aggressive. Not right now, not yet. NXTD, I don't trust. I'd really rather see ENSC or one of these really opening up. So new year, new you. We wanna try to help um, help you build a, a framework for following the rules of trading. That's one of the biggest challenges. That's gonna be one of the biggest reasons that people are gonna come into trader rehab. They have a night, well, some will not even have a strategy and then that's obviously a problem. Uh, if you don't have a strategy, that's a major problem. So we're gonna to try to look at what, what's the issue. Are you trading without a strategy? Do you have a strategy and you're just not following the rules? And regardless of what it is, we're gonna put you on a one month plan. This is what you need to do for the next month. And you're going to put together that plan a uh, bit yourself. We're going to work with you to kind of show you the outline of what that plan looks like. For me, when I've gone into trader rehab, and then you'll have to modify it a little bit for what your issue is, uh, you know, why you're having a problem. And then we'll have Monday morning check-ins. Oh, it will do 11 a.m. next Monday. Yep, that's when class will start. So as soon as I finish trading next Monday, class will begin.
and um, the re trader rehab will be uh, Mondays weekly at 8 a.m. All right, so 8 a.m. every Monday through January. You're gonna come in. Ted's gonna run those sessions. I'm gonna be there for some of them, and it's gonna be trader rehab. Let's get focused. Beginning of the new week, each week. So those trader rehab sessions will be um, like weekly syncs, uh, kind of like weekly support group meetings. Uh, I didn't see that. H Y L T. Oh, hold on. L T R Y volume pop. Yeah. So I see that L T R Y volume is a little light. So the problem on this, the halt level seven, you see how the halt level is going right up there at 72. So I bought it at 64 to go right into the halt and I'm holding 1900 shares. This is one of those trades where I see it hit the scanner and I jump in the high it's sort of like a recent ipo setup which is what i kind of liked about it it's back down so i'm going to take the loss on it's a 500 hundred dollar loss uh mobq just trading small size until i get comfortable on something mobq i'm not really interested in that one right now but a couple stocks hitting scans so that's good KTTA is pulled back a little bit too much. SOPA at 1635 needs to break back over VWAP. HYPR halted. Let me look. Is this, so this is, looks like a somewhat recent IPO. What's the float on it? I'm wondering if, um, let's see. See, I'm not getting any data on that. Hold on. Halt time was 34, resumption will be 39. Volume is very light, it's a factor. Yeah, I agree, Justin. Merger news, interesting. What's the float though? I'm not seeing anything on Finviz either. Let me go to BAM, CC. Hmm. I don't know if this is the same. It says offering 35 million. Um, no, I'm not in SOPA right now. I'm, I'm actually not in anything right now. My positions are top left window. SOPA is still on watch though. BFRI. Yeah, yesterday's high was 12. That's the level I'd really want to see break.
So see how Sopa, you know, is trying to get up there. So we watch the volume closely. Now this, these are risky spots because if it rejects this level, you're in trouble. The high is 1736. If it breaks 1736, then you're on new high a day. Uh, regular trading hours. Uh, looks like hyper uh, HYPR, uh, 10 minute long halt. So that one's still halted. So SOPA right now rejecting the VWAP, hitting it and rejecting it. That's a rejection. All right, let's do another spin of the wheel. Got some sound effects to it too. All right, 316. All right, so who is 316? 316 is um, Jermaine Johnson. JJ, passed with a 91%. You here today, Jermaine? Uh, it's, it's for students who have um, taken the final exam. Yep, so that's uh, that would have gotten you entered into the uh, raffle. And don't worry if you missed it, go through the small cap day trading course, go through the starter, go through the small cap course, and at the end, take the quiz, and then you'll be able to be entered into the next raffle. All right, so I think Jermaine might not be tuned in today, so we'll just mark down 41. All right, we'll do another, another little spin. Oh, he is here, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Uh, what size and color would you like? I missed that. Oh, there he is. Um, all right, so what do you what do you want? What size and which print? Medium pasta, please. Uh, All right, this one is for you. Just checking the size. Yep. So that's a medium. All right, that's coming your way. We're gonna send you an email just to confirm your address. All right, and then let's just check 370. Which one, Manoli? Oh, I, okay, yep, yep, yep. Um, 370 is Chase, uh, last name A-I-T-C-H. Uh, is this the Chase that lives down the road for me? Or is it a different Chase? Let's see. Passed with an 86%. Yeah, hey man, all right, well, um, make this easy for you to get. Let's see, what which one do you want? Let's watch Hyper on resumption. Still halted, showing 15, very light volume. Yeah, I got 30 shares filled. I filled 30 shares, I'm going big. Problem with these is, yeah, I'll buy after the first halt. I'm not gonna buy after the second halt. Uh, so, it's fine, it is what it is. Went right into another halt.
Let's see. Yep, we have a large cactus. So large cactus for Chase. Showing a 1790 resumption now. Yeah, I agree. Wouldn't have been able to take big size anyways. I'd like something with more volume that I can trade more aggressively. Yep, KTTA coming back up a little bit. Look at those bottoming tails on SOPA. Holy smokes. Quick long here into the halt. Watch the halt up. That's a short squeeze. Holy smokes. How does that happen? Taking profit, going into the hall, just to reduce risk. We'll watch on resumption. How, where does that come from? Come on. You have to be so quick. You have to be so quick. Let's see, my average fill is 1744. That was a almost $10,000 trade. I mean, son of a gun, you gotta be so quick. What, what? bottoming tail rips up? Here's the problem. Sometimes when you get that type of straight up move, you get a lower resumption. So I wanna be a little cautious on it, which is why I didn't wanna hold the whole thing going to the halt. I still have a um, position, but not the whole thing. And just like that, it's game time. So that's the power of hot keys. Boom, boom, boom. However, I will tell you that I have had times where I took that exact same trade and I bought the top of a candle wick, instant reversal instant reversal back down so i've i've had both i've had it have i've had it go the right way and halt up and i've had it go the wrong way so you know you have to be careful on something like that but that is extremely bullish i wasn't expecting that at all but i jumped in so next level 1825 then 1860 new order is 1825 so this is what i'm looking for this has got 12 million shares of volume i can take size on this i can easily size up on this if it starts to open up this is one that has good liquidity unlike hyper i can take five ten thousand shares 20 30 40 50 if i want to <clears throat> hyper yeah we'll see what it does about a minute to resumption See, the thing is, you know, it's almost Christmas time. And I think that a lot of long traders are probably looking for that, you know, one last trade going into the long weekend. So, you know, you might, if this starts to open up, you might get some good follow through. We'll see. I don't know. But, you know, bears might be looking for one more trade going into the weekend too. We'll see. So $30 loss on hyper, whatever. Those ones are just so hard when the volume is super light. Hi, this candle is 1793, showing a 1799 resumption right now. Halt was 47.22. Well, it's not really a secret. I, I, I say it all the time. Execution speed is an important factor. I mean, it is. It's, it's a tool. If you're going to try to trade as quickly as me and you're going to trade on your mobile phone, 
by the time you were even pulling up the stock, it was already halted. You just have to be able to move quick. All right, so we got Chase. Um, let's do one more spin. Maybe these spins are, are good luck. Good luck, good luck, good luck, good luck. I wouldn't be shocked, Ben, either. I wouldn't be. 64. Matthew, last name, George. Matthew, are you here today? Tuned in? I know. Everyone named Matthew is like, finally! Only to hear that last name. AERC, this um, could be some sympathy, but I'm going to be cautious on it. Sympathy mobile uh, to SOPA. No, Matthew? So we'll, um, we'll send him an email. Showing an 1826 resumption. So we've got about 20 seconds to resumption. We're now showing 1839, 1850. It's moving up. So let's see. I'm going to move the order up towards 19. 1860 was yesterday's high. We'll have to trade with slightly smaller size. Watch for dip. Good job. Wait, I'm waiting for the dip. Add there. Now for the squeeze up to 20. I got a nice dip fill. Added there. Nice profit over that level. Smaller size at this point. Letting it pull back. Letting the halt level move up. The high is 2038. We broke yesterday's high. This is where we need a little bit of a pullback. Give it a moment to breathe. Dip trade at 66. Average is 89. Taking profit. Looking for the next dip trade. If it keeps holding the half dollar, we're going to be lined up for a breakthrough 2045. Added at 56, bought the dip. So I'm going to start dip trading this in this area for the break back through 20. Next add is over 75. Bottoming candle right down to the nine moving average. Watching 1965, 1975. Added at 1903. Now watch the squeeze through 1950, 1960. There's 50. Add spot is over for the half dollar of 50 for the break back through. No, gotta go flat. So gave back a little profit on that uh, about eight grand seven grand I could have just held and kept averaging down but you know you want to be careful on that so very high volume on this candle right here which is good See, look at that, it's right back to basically my entry. Added at 22, looking for the break through 50. I'm gonna look for that first one minute candle to make a new high. So you watch the first one minute candle, and then we're looking at 1950. Added there, 48. So what I'm looking at on this is a squeeze through 1950, then back to 1975. Back to flat. So basically gave back all the profit I made on that trade in that little chop area, up 10,000 on the day from 23. We got a high of 20, 
38, but then my two dip trades lost on both of them. Just have to wait. The problem is, you know, it might end up breaking 1950 and it's like, wow, you gave back $13,000 stopping out twice only for it to rip. You should have just held. Well, on the other hand, you know, you, at what point do you cut the loss? You got to cut the loss somewhere. The five minutes extended. If it's going to be really strong, we'll have another opportunity. So see, it broke there, but then immediately reversed, and that, that was even more um, dramatic. So probably just keep it on watch to see if it rips again. BOXD mentioned to be on Kramer Mad Money. Twenty five thousand share seller comes in there. So high that candle is 64. Nice, good job. Good work for you on that. Very good. AERC, yesterday's high. So this is just kind of very similar to SOPA, but um, hasn't been as strong, so. BOXD. Volume's pretty light.
Yeah, I think just being patient is a good idea. This was a good move, so we'll see if we see another move like it. It's just choppy right now. See, this is just choppy, so we got to kind of wait for it to look really clean, really obvious. The longer it holds up, the better it'll look. So see it keeps popping up a little bit and then it's probably gonna have resistance around 20 halt levels around 21 so I'd put the order around 2015 let's see if it can actually pull through this level Dip trade there, uh, add would be over 20. It's starting to increase in volume. So as we break 94, I'm gonna add for the squeeze through 2038. I'm just gonna give it the range that it needs. I have starter size. What's good is that green candle right there, that big green candle. So watch it 85 and then 95 for the breakthrough 20. Next add is 88 and 98. And then $20 and 10 cents adding there. There's 2010 watching 2015 for the next add. A little chop. It's got to break 2010. New order at 2015. Watching for a dip. Back to flat for now. Small winner. So we know our high is 2038. The high of this candle is $20.10. And My order is at $20.20, and but I can buy dips. Twenty three million shares of volume, short sale restriction, hard to borrow. You've got a bid there at sixty five, a seller at seventy five, kind of matched on the level two. See if we break over eighty. Watching 51 dip spots. Average is 75. Add off of 51 or add through 20. Added there on that dip. Looking for the break through 1985. So see how it ascends back up. Watch through 88 and 90. High this candle's 87. New order still at $20 and 20 cents. Nice on BOXD, good job there. Watching for another dip off 50. Add it at 61. Each time it dips down, I'm buying those dips for the pop back up, looking for the break through 20. And then I can add at the breakout spot, 88.98. Added right there. 
Some sellers at 20. Holding at 87 average. Next adds 2015. Adding here, now it's pulling away. Next adds 75. Looking for $21. Watch for the ad over 95 for a squeeze into a halt. Add at 64. Now looking for the squeeze through 21 to a possible halt up 2184. When we start moving fast like this, this is what we like. Watch over 88 and 98. Add it at 88. We'll add at 98 for the breakthrough 21. This looks great. Finally, we're seeing some good action. We're up 27%. Watching dips to buy dips. This is the first one minute pullback after it's starting to go parabolic. Shorts will get squeezed more through 21. Watch over at 78, 88, and 98. So the spots I'm watching here is through 21. There you go. Yep, that's what we wanted to see. Profit through the highs, halt into a halt. Got a pretty good read on this one. I'm, I'm pleased. 27 million shares of volume. False halt, watch for a dip. Dip trade at 68 for the pop back through 22. Halt levels 22.34. Watch that halt level to move up. Add is over 22. Added right there for the breakthrough 22. Nice, almost perfect. Nice big bid there. Back to flat for now. We'll let it pull back. High of this candle is 22.34, watching for another dip. Added there, now looking for 22.34, 22.78. This is a 10 second micro pullback, 28 million shares of volume. Flat for now. Good work. Now we'll let, let it pull back again and then look for the next trade. Watching for dips. Dip trade at 82, bought the dip. Now watch over 2125. There's 21. Let's see, watching 2125. And then the pop back up to 2150. I want to see if this is one that just starts to really open up more. There's 2117. Nice. 22. Holding 3,500 shares. Flat for now, watching for another dip. Double bottom off of this 2080 level. Hot keys are tough on a stock of this price because you can get, you know, slippage potentially. High is 22.34. So how much does this dip get bought up? I'm gonna put an order at 2175. I don't like that larger red candle, but let's just see what it does. So, you know, it's kind of, what's annoying on this is that I was up 23,000 and then I gave back, you know, 13,000 on this chop only for it to go all the way back through the high. 
So I made back what I lost plus a couple thousand, but you know, a little choppy. So those uh, tuning in on YouTube, I wanted to stream a little longer for you guys today. I uh, wish you a happy, ho happy holiday. I hope you hit the thumbs up and enjoy the broadcast. A reminder, and I'll put up my disclaimer, uh, as always, trading is risky. You shouldn't try to blindly follow me or anyone else. You have to remember that uh, most beginner traders do lose money. So you should assume as a beginner you'll lose money also. And with that assumption in mind, trade uh, in a simulator before you put real money on the line. There's no guarantee of success. There's no guarantee of success uh, being a warrior trading student either it's risky trading is risky so it's been a little uh you know up and down here uh green no doubt it's a green day for me but um gave back half my gains that was a place where i had to be a little careful and then rallied back up so sometimes when you give back half your gains, it's a good time just to walk away, especially if you get easily triggered uh, on the emotional side of things. Um, speaking from experience. And it looks like we got to spin the wheel again. So let's spin the wheel while we wait for Sopa. It does seem that the wheel has been good luck. One forty. Uh, let's check to see who is Mr. One or Mrs. 140. 140 is Paul. Last name Vander, and it's a hyphenated last name. So you you fill the rest out. So kind of watching this area, see how it bounces. Paul, hey man. All right. So what size shirt do you want? Added there, now looking for the squeeze back at 2150. See as it starts to open up. There's 55. Next add is 60. We're seeing that volume coming in here. That's good. Holding 1800 shares. Taking a little profit into this move. It's a little extended on the one. Extra large, no, we are all out of extra large. I'm sorry. Um, if you want to give a smaller one as a gift to someone, you could do that. Or if you want to pick something from our merch store, you can go to warriortrading.com slash store and pick out whatever you want. Add it at 75, now looking for 85 and 95. Adding at 85, now let's get that squeeze through 22. All right, so let's watch this for a parabolic squeeze through the highs. 
There we go. Not bad. Little pullback, holding at 21.77, smaller size. Next ad is 22.15. A little chop, still holding, small size, dip trade at 37. Bought the dip, brought my average down to 51. Now looking for the pop back up to 65. So that was an average down type of trade, bought the dip. Took the loss on it. Um, so what did Paul say? Um, so there's no extra larges left, right? Um, okay, all right, fair enough. All right, so he's gonna grab something from the merch store. That's cool with me. So this ends up being a false breakout on the one minute, on the five minute. I could buy the dip because that's a bit of an irrational sell-off, but I don't want to, I don't want to walk into that big red candle. It's this isn't the most obvious bounce spot here. Yeah, see, the VWAP is 19, so 19 is possible support. You know, you could have grabbed that dip there, 1950. You'd be up 60 cents, but. What if you bought the dip at 2050? All right, so I hope you took the profit. That's an important part of trading is taking profit when you have it. 277. All right, so 277 is Emiliano. Emil. Iano, last name uh, Satimi. Uh, they here today? Hey, you are here. All right, so what do you want? We've got some pastas, some uh, cactuses, some dog prints. Pasta large. Okay. Yep, got it. Right here. Pasta. Uh, sorry, that's cactus. Um, which size was this? All right, pasta large, right here. This one's been keeping me company for a little bit. It's been good luck. One oh two. All right, one oh two. Let's see. One oh two, Kyle Roth. Let's see if Kyle's here. I know we've got a couple Kyles, so hey, there he is. All right. What print and what size? Cactus Large. All right, you got it, man. We're sending it out. Okay. Yep, that's a large.
Thank you, Janelle. Yes, wasn't wasn't sure on uh, M Emanoli. I see BFRI, I'm not that interested in it right now. Okay, remove. Nice job, Matthias, good work. Number 76. All right, Fabio, last name begins with M-E-U. Is Fabio here today? My goodness, Fabio, you passed with a grade of 100%. You got a perfect score. Let me see how many people got a perfect score. Let's see, I'm gonna sort by, by score. Well, not bad, there's a few, good for you. You're not alone, but there are a few, that's awesome, that's good to see. Good job if you got a perfect score, good for you. All right, so Fabio, uh, what size would you like? So we'll send you uh, everyone an email just to make sure we've got your address right. These do run a little small, these sweatshirts. If you'd rather get something from the store because we, we don't have any extra larges left, that's okay. I, I used to wear large and then I went up to extra large. It's a little more comfortable. Something from the store. Okay, that sounds good. So Fabio's going to get something from the store. So we have a final exam. So the score was based on their final exam. Uh, that's the 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 good the grade was based on their final exam it's actually a grade not a score oh well i guess you call it whatever you'd like but so yeah so for um just for everyone's knowledge so you can go into your members dashboard here and this is especially helpful for those on youtube you can go from here into the chat room and uh, live stock scanners which is this room here all right, um, so students who have a um, star next to their name right here, these students have gotten an 85% or better on the final exam. Students that have um, a profitability badge like that, you can see they've got the profitability badge. So Selena's got hers, verified profitability. All right, so uh, then from the dashboard, if you want to go into the classes, you do onboarding for new students first. Make sure you understand the workflow, how to kind of go through the classes, the curriculum. Then you can go to view courses in the portal or look at content updates as you'd like. So then from the portal, you've got your starter course. I have access to a bunch of classes on mine. Uh, as a new student, you would just have access to the Warrior Starter uh, that I taught new in 2021. And then you'd have access to the small cap day trading course, again, taught new in 2021. And at the end of this class, at the very end of this class, when you finish it, is uh, the final exam. All right, and uh, so I encourage you guys, if you haven't gone through all of this already, to go through it. We'll move this down here. Uh, yes, Rob, you can. You can retake. It's, there's 200 questions on the final quiz.
Good job, Al. Okay. Good job. Good work. Well, we've got eight students who have a million dollar badge. So that's a pretty small number, but then we've got 25K, 50K, 100K, 500K badges. I'm not sure how many we have uh, with those badges in total. I think I'm probably done trading for the day. It's about 10.30. I've had a pretty solid morning. Candle says, you'll take Ross's class for a year and still be flat broke, if not more broke than when you started. Well, uh, what I would like to think is that at the end of a year, if you've taken the classes, you've learned a heck of a lot. We've got a robust educational platform. And so, you know, it's your opinion. And as I've always said, we don't track the typical result of our students. So I can't say how well our students do or if they do better or worse than the typical trader. But I think it's a bit um, narrow-minded to think that students gain absolutely nothing. I think if you're interested in learning about the market, it sure makes a lot of sense to learn from someone who's been trading for a long time. There's a ton of content in the classes, and we put 110% in for our students. But if it's not for you, it's okay. It doesn't have to be for you. It doesn't have to be for everyone. So a little bounce off the low, but again, the problem is those two candles right there, the topping tail and then the drop. Okay, so looks like um, we've got a couple more prizes to give away. So uh, maybe what we'll do here uh, for the next uh, spin. So I've got a couple, I do have some more shirts, uh, but I'm not gonna get through all of them because a number of people have chosen to get stuff uh, from the store. So some of these I'll save, I guess, for, um, the next giveaway but why don't we do uh, I'll do three more spins here there's spin number one two ninety three all right so let's check this out All right, so 293, Wayne, last name starts with uh, C-O-N. Is Wayne here today?
No? All right, so we'll put him down for sending an email. We'll do another one here. Ninety six. All right. Uh, Jeffrey, last name begins with uh, W A L L, Wall. Hey, Jeffrey. All right. Well, tell me what you'd like. Which pattern and what size? We've got the cactus, we've got the dog prints, and we still have pasta shirts as well. Or if you'd like something from the merch store, that's okay too. Absolutely. Yep. Take a look at the store and then let us know. All right. So that's. So I'm going to do. Okay. All right, so I'm going to do one more here. So uh, there's a woman that makes these, and she, it's a little family business that she's got. And she does a great job. I I met her at a, um, a the farmer's market. So I asked her if I could just buy all the sh shirts that she had, and she was like, are you serious? And I said, you're goddamn right I am. So I bought $6,000 worth of uh, sweaters, sweatshirts. Uh, all right, 95, 295 is Greg, last name W-R-O-N. <clears throat> Almost. All right, so I don't know if Greg is tuned in, but we'll send him an email. So we've got, let's see. Oh, hey, there he is, Greg. So you tell me, what size would you like? A large cactus. All right, coming your way. Large cactus right here. are all going to get uh, mailed out. Those ones are ready to go. And I still have, let's see, one, two, three, four, four bags left for the next raffle, which is great. Pastas, a lot of pastas. OK. 
Alright, so I'll remove that and there we go, we'll put that away. No, so hold on one second. You came back. You wanted to see me. Yeah. I gave away so many sweatshirts. Can you believe it? Yeah. Why? We're shipping them out. We're giving them to friends. Well, because... Because you... Cause you, cause you don't need it anymore. Oh, I got more than I need. So you have more than you need, you give a little out. Isn't that nice? Yeah. Yeah. All right. Well, uh, YouTube, I'm going to turn off the broadcast here. Thank you for tuning in again. I'll put up my disclaimer as always. And uh, I hope you guys have a great holiday. Market's closed tomorrow, but we'll be back on Monday as usual. I think my work's all done. Yeah.